Hello everybody, Robo Games here today, uh, and we are starting a brand new series, brand new game called Wasteland 3. So those who are familiar with Wasteland series, uh, you may know that Wasteland 3 just came out a few days ago, and for public release on Steam, and so we are going to go through it and play through this uh, single player campaign. Uh, at some point, we may pull in and do some multiplayer. If I can get some buddies to uh, also jump in and purchase this, we may showcase some of that. Uh, either along this playthrough, because that's the kind of neat thing about this, you can jump multiplayer people into this and out of it along the single player campaign. Uh, or not. So, um, it, it, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, but, uh, so I've played a little bit of this uh, so far, but um, for those who aren't familiar with Wasteland series, uh, it started off. In uh, Wasteland 1 was based out of, uh, well, first off, it's a post-apocalyptic, uh, there's been a nuclear holocaust, and uh, the world is in this post-apocalyptic state where you got mutants and robots, and, and you have a few good folks called the Rangers that are kind of wandering around trying to keep peace and justice. Uh, Wasteland 1 started off, it was a text-based game built uh, to run on, I believe, DOS. Uh, so it's fairly old. It was uh, some graphics, but most of it was all text-based. All your combat was text-based. Uh, you could see the numbers flying by as you guys were, as you were hitting creatures and doing damage. Uh, but it was built in, in the genre there, or not the genre, but the uh, scene there was around southern Nevada area, Las Vegas, Needles, and that area. It's a little bit of northern Arizona, I think, but um, for the most part, it was southern Nevada. And then... Um, Wasteland 2, which came out a few years ago, uh, it was more graphical in nature, but it was based in the Arizona area and a little bit in California. And now Wasteland 3, as uh, you're going from Arizona up to Colorado, and uh, that's where we're going to be mission up there. So this looks like it's going to be a little more cold, a little more um, winter landscape, which might be kind of cool because everything else is usually hot and dusty out in the desert. And and now we're going to be in a little different environment here. So cool. So I have played this a little bit. Um, just enough to kind of get a feel for it a little bit, but I am I, I do want to, as this video series is going to go along, I want to make this a uh, kind of a new experience for, for, for both of us, uh, you know, for all of us as, as, we're, as we're watching this. So uh, I've played through the first just opening sequence kind of uh, to, to, to get things going. So I have a little bit of a feel for how this, so if it looks like I'm pretty smooth run through some of this stuff, the first one, it's only because I've played up into the, that very first uh aspect uh, and there was just a few things about the initial recording that i didn't like not that i died or anything i did i, I survived it i uh, did really well but um there was just a few things with the recordings i didn't like so i figured i would go back let's reshoot this first one and then from that point on it'll all be brand new so we're gonna go ahead and start a new game uh and i think hopefully the cutscene will work on this one uh so yeah we're gonna go ahead and choose first off our difficulty uh, so we want to jump in and go at Ranger difficulty. This is going to, it's hard combat. I'm familiar with the mechanics of this game, so I want to get a little more challenging. As well as uh, friendly fire on, so this is going to be one of those things where we have to really watch our positioning and make sure we're not fighting over each other. So we'll do this, and then hopefully this thing will jump into the cutscene. I've been having a hard time getting the cutscenes to play uh, right off the bat. Sometimes it, it jumps right into the customization of the character, so... Uh, good. Here's the cutscene. Great. So we'll watch this. That'll give a little bit of context of where we're going and why we're here. It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. But then the Cochise AI woke up and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then, the Rangers heard from a fellow calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the Rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. Whoa, whoa! Sorry, Major. No way we're getting through that. 10 4, Cody. Advanced team reported an alternate route across a frozen lake. Find it. 
copy that. Well, reluctant as the Rangers are to interfere in family squabbles, they weren't really in a position to say no. Our route's around that dam on the far shore. Scouts, check out the ice and lead us across. Yes, ma'am. So the Brass and Ranger Team November crossed the Rockies. Because the aid he was promising the Rangers wasn't just their best hope. It was their last. Okay, Major. All good. Come ahead. Yeah, it's been a rough road lately, but that's the thing about the Rangers. It doesn't matter how hard it gets or how many of them fall. They keep on fighting. The Rangers never stop fighting. All right. So that sets up the context here, a little bit of what we're doing. So I think now we were going to go into creating the... So there's a bunch of um, stock stock rangers you can go in and pick from. Uh, but, uh, in fact, this is probably the closest thing to what I want to build. But these guys don't have quirks, and I really like some of the quirks they have. So we're going to go in and do the custom... Create custom characters. Also, it gives me a chance to name them. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe you can name them some of the other ones. But, um, but yeah. So, so uh, our first guy, uh, we're going to have a man and uh, brother sister combo or man and woman combo whatever so um uh, so tamarall for those who've watched my other videos uh he's my generally my male character name uh and we're here, gonna, they here they come he's gonna be stoic but his background uh he's gonna be a uh, vicious avenger and the reason why is that's gonna give us plus two penetration uh, i'm gonna have tamarall he's going to be an assault weapons character uh, so those are usually three shot bursts. The penetration is going to give him more damage per shot. So it's just it's hitting multiple shots. It's lower damage per shot um, with the assault weapons. But with the penetration being up, that should give him higher damage per shot. So three shots um, is going to give him, with the added plus two penetration, that's going to give him uh, some more damage he can kick out. So we're going to do that. Uh, so he's going to be a vicious avenger. And then now let's go ahead and work on his appearance a little bit. His face, I think, is going to be okay. We're going to change his skin tone a little bit, darken him up, because he's been, uh, you know, he's been out in the desert for a while. He's, he's darkened. I don't, I don't know. I'm not too into some of these other nutty-looking faces. Uh, so, yeah, I think we're good for right now. Uh, just this normal-looking face here. Yeah, we're good there. Uh, hair, uh, we want to go spiky. That's uh, over here. And we're going to give him kind of that reddish reddish color there. Uh, I could go really red, I guess. Ooh, maybe that's an idea. Kind of nut these guys out with some... Uh, I don't know. He'll, maybe he'll have this one. And then uh, give him a little goatee. Give him the merc. Uh, helmet stuff, do I want to go something like this, or do I want to go cowboy hats, Daniel Boone style, that's not too bad, I could do this, be a good scout, I wish there was like this with sunglasses or something, that'd be kind of cool, uh, get that one, I don't know, I kind of like to see their faces a little bit. 
But I like the I like the pull up. So let's go with that one. And then uh, Outrider. Outrider jacket's not too bad. I kind of like that. Veteran jacket. Uh, no, let's go with the Outrider. What's the other one? Scout vest. Nah. Now the other one is this. We could do this guy. This is the infantry jacket. Nope, we're going to do the Outrider. I like the Outrider jacket. Because he's a scout. He's going to be our advanced scout. He's going to be out in the front doing stuff. So, gunslinger, no. Uh, operative, no. There's his Outrider pants. Yeah, we'll do the Outrider pants. He's got some smoke grenades, some things like that on him. Yeah, we'll do that one. Okay. Armor color, we're going to keep the armor the same. He's going to be average height. He is going to be jacked because he's he's our scout. He's out front doing good stuff. I think, uh, yeah, I've looked through some of these portraits, and I think that one is about as good as we can get on there. Yeah, we'll do this guy. Cool. All right, so we got that one done. The starting weapon, he's like I said, he's going to be an assault rifle. Um, attributes. Okay, so uh, I want to do four intelligence because that's going to add up to more critical damage. Plus, he's going to get um, one skill point every two intelligence, so that's going to give him a couple extra skill points. Uh, speed, strength, uh, I'm going to bump him up to on this one. Because he's going to be our frontliner, I actually may end up bumping it up with some more. Uh, because I'm trying to think if I want to do, yeah. So I think I want to bump. This is what I'm going to do. Yeah. So I want to bump the awareness up one, and I want his strength to go up. Yeah, strength want to go up that up to five. So the, here's why. So for strength, it's combining how much you can lift also with your health. So the stronger you are, the more healthy you are as well. So that's your bumps up your constitution. Constitution uh, gives you more hit points. So since this is going to be our frontliner, he'll be the first one engaging. I uh, I, I want him to, to be uh, up on the front line. Uh, oh, actually, no, I'm a little wrong on this one. I don't think I want his awareness up that high. I wanted his, uh, no, I want to speed up this high. So, so sorry. So we're going to change this around just a little bit. Um, so strength, yep. Con, uh, 20. So that's good. Uh, and then his awareness is going to be fine for right now. That's, he's got plus two perception as well as the perception he's getting from his background. So that's good. Uh, 12% Range damage bonus, hit percent up to 4%, that's fine. Intelligence, that's going to get him the skill points as well as the critical chance with the speed. So I want this guy moving first every time because he's going to be a scout. He's going to be out front. If he gets jumped by something, he gets ambushed by something, I want him to have the first initiative. Plus, I also need him to have high evasion. And that's also going to bump up his combat speed too so he can be highly mobile and, uh, and not get jumped because, again, out in front, Looking for traps, unlocking stuff. This is going to be a lock picker as well. So yeah, all good stuff there. So we're going to really focus on that. Okay, cool. And now for skills, uh, we're going to have one point in automatic weapons. Uh, that's just to give some base hit chance, and we're going to work that up as we go through. Uh, we also need to have him at least two in lock picking. Uh, we need at least one in do, 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 do first aid, and then the last one's going to be in our sneaky shit. And so, uh, by the way, I love the names of some of the stuff. So sneaky shit, uh, this is going to give him perception, initiative, bump to another initiative, increase his detection time. So as he's walking through areas, it gives him a little more time. So as we move this sneaky shit up, I mean, this maxed out, you got three seconds detection time. So I'm going to have three seconds to get through an area to av completely avoid somebody. Uh, it also bumps up sneak attack damage, so when I, when you're not in combat and you shoot somebody, you'll be able to you'll do more damage. So it's a sneak attack, and then also being able to disarm alarms. Um, so along with lock picking and to be able to pick locks and crack safes, this guy's also going to be out there disarming any alarms that might be out there. So so all good stuff. So he's kind of our frontline scout, sneak sneaky person um, and then everyone is going to get first aid because first aid allows you to revive somebody if they go down you don't want you to have one medic everyone should have at least one a little bit of basic first aid and we may have one that becomes a medic that we really go go deep on this one um, so 
And we're not going to give this guy any social skills. Our, our other person will be that. So there's that. Now, quirks. So this is where you can really... So these ones, generally, they give you a good bonus, but they also have a big negative too. Like, for instance, Death Wish here, you can't wear any armor, but you get plus three action points. Not good for a frontliner. But what is good for a frontliner here is his lone wolf. So... Leadership has no benefits. So there's a skill called leadership that you can that you can get on one of your characters, and then within the radius, they are buffing a bunch of people in here. We'll pick that up later on a I think on a later character. Um, I'm not putting that on any of these two characters here. I haven't explored leadership at all. I haven't seen these benefits at all yet. Uh, maybe it's got huge benefits, and I'm completely missing out on it right now. I don't know. But anyways, uh, for our scout character who's probably going to be out in front, maybe not be in that circle of of uh, leadership. Uh, I want him out front anyways, but he's going to get that, again, 20% initiative. So I think now, if I'm remembering right, when we add all this stuff, 20% initiative um, with the uh, attributes, 20% initiative here, so that's 40% initiative. And I think he's got another 6% or 4% initiative from, from something else on there, too. So that's going to be uh, a huge bump in initiative. So Tamarol is going to be going first every time that that's that's the that's the goal there cool so that's tamara all right hawk or no longer to be hawk but now you're going to be Bator. cool female i want her to be female Here, Good. Let's and i really like you want to brawl knock yourselves out the joker voice on this one and she's not going to be a bookworm though she is going to be a goat killer <laughs> so <laughs> goat killer is a base Crit chance up of 5%, so she's going to be our sniper. I want her critting and killing, one-shotting people. And if I can get her to one-shot two people a turn, so a sniper sniper round or a sniper shot takes six action points. Uh, the other ones take, like, uh, like the assault weapons takes four, so it's a lot less. Uh, but sniper rifles take six action points to shoot. My goal is to get her to 12 action points so that she can shoot twice and hopefully take out one-shot two people. Uh, in in one round. So her whole goal is to sit in the back and take people out, you know, two people out around if she can. And so that's that's really good. So getting that crit chance up is going to help with that as well. These on, other ones in here aren't too bad. Um, I was thinking about Sex Machine on this one because that bumps up combat speed, which I think gets her some more action points, or maybe it allows her to move farther. I don't know. Um, or this... Raider Hater, which is 10% bonus damage to humans, which is also isn't bad. That's just some good flat damage there. Especially early game, that's going to probably take him out pretty quick. But with the Sniper Rifle, she's going to be doing a lot of damage at a base level anyways. Our biggest problem, I think, with the, sni with the Sniper is going to be finding ammo for it. Because uh, I think she starts with a gun that takes 30 out 6, and that is kind of hard to find right now. So we'll have to struggle through that a little bit but goat killer it'll bump up a crit chance that'll stay with her for a while we might get to you know this this bonus goes away when we start attacking uh, animals or or robots or things like that so um or mutants even i think so because there's another one in here uh do 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 like grease monkey is robots and vehicles you do bonus damage to that so anyways um cool so that's our crit chance there so we'll do that and okay she's a goat killer her appearance here uh, I like her face that's good let's again darken her up a little bit because she's you know from Arizona she's got a good tan going on uh, let's see what are we doing here I think I really like this hairstyle shaved up on the sides we're gonna give her um, some crazy uh, she's gonna go with pink hair or do we want to just go with purple hair? You know, I think she's going to go with, uh, Beto is going to go with some purple hair on this one. Yeah, she's going to go, actually, you know what? She's going to match the snow with this a little bit. She's going to get that ice, ice cold blue hair. Yeah. Yep. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. Helmet, uh, let's see. I think she's also going to go with this because again she wants to have her eyes clear so she can scope in on folks and take them out uh she is going to go with the ranger operative jacket specialist uh, do i do specialist jacket or operative yeah, i like the operative jacket that's good okay 
And we're also going to go with the, uh, should go Tentra Pants. Or Operative Pants. Uh, I think she's going, uh... Yeah, she's going to go with the Operative. Ooh, is that, uh, Scout Pants? Oh, look at that. She could totally be Zen. Uh, maybe that's, maybe that's what we do. Tundra Jacket. Winter Parka. Where's the Scout? A Scout Vest. Gunslinger. Huh, maybe that's, uh... Do that, and then the pants are going to be the scout pants. Yeah, hey, I kind of like that. So we're going to go with scout pants. She's going to blend into the snow. Yeah, we'll do that. Kind of blends into the snow. That's good. Good scout should blend into that. So we're good there. She is going to be a little on the shorter side, uh, and she's going to be slender. She's not going to be jack. She's not going to be stocky. She's not going to be compact. It's kind of funny. You can be a little teeny person. Uh, all right. So slender, small. Yeah. So. And then her portrait, uh, let's see, do we have, yeah, there we go. That looks like her right there. Just need to change the hair color, but we're good there. Good. Okay, so starting weapon, she is going to go with the sniper rifle. I'm really debating this one, but, because uh, you start with such limited ammo uh, on this one. But I think it's going to be worthwhile. We may pick up uh, assault rifle as a secondary but I want her on sni I want us the sniper option on here because she's going to be our backliner and she's going to be uh, sniping folks. Uh, and I think it works really well when, she, when she's out there doing that. So again, intelligence. We're going to bump that up. Um, uh, we are going to do, 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 do hit chance. Is the coordination? Ah, yes, 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 yes. Coordination. I think I want to get up to three on the coordination, and then I'm going to bump up one, one on the strength. So we're going to bump up her health just a little bit to give her a little bit of survivability uh, on that. Uh, intelligence, so that's going to be the skill points. We'll need those. And then coordination will be really cranked up high because we want to have a lot of action points on her. She's going to, I want her firing twice around if, if possible. So I think if we're doing this, that this build should give us 12 action points from the get-go. Uh, which is really really good so she could stay stationary pink 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 uh, pick off two targets at the same time And if we get lucky and we get some ammo pickups. That'll be really good. Okay, so for what are we doing here? So we're gonna get her uh, I'm gonna get one point into sniper rifle uh, Let's see here. What else are we do we know one point into first aid so we got three points left she's also going to be our Weapon modding and armor modding person, so that's good. Um, I don't think I need the nerd stuff right now, although that would be nice to have. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to. She's going to get a new perk of mark target. In addition to the tactical value, marking an enemy for your squad to focus fire on is good, mean stuff. So, even if she, I think if she. I, I gotta use this a little bit. I don't think I used this last time, but I think even with her not having ammo, she can still mark the target and increase the chance. Um, let's see if I can. If I do that. Yeah, okay, that doesn't tell me anything, but. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's just level two. Okay. Um, so I think I can mark the target even if she's out of ammo, and that will help with the hit chance on some other folks. So let's do that. So weapon modding, one. Armor modding, one. So she's going to be our armor modding, modder and our weapon modder. So she'll be able to break down weapons, and um, and what we can get off of that is get improved scopes and things like that off there. So, so okay, and then we'll have the sniper rifles. Good. And then her quirk is going to be death wish. So. Because she's going to be a backliner, she's not going to wear any armor of any kind, so that's going to make her kind of vulnerable. But she's going to get those plus three action points uh, on the max side, and so that's going to get her again to the 12. Want to get to. So I think that's it. Let's go ahead and get this going. All right. So it's going to jump us right in the middle, right after we get ambushed. We're in the middle of the ice. Hold them off, Team November. Right train and on the here we are. So we got a few folks here. All right. So where are we at here? Combat start. Enemy's turn. They're starting off with initiative right now. By the way, there's nothing we can do about that one. It's just what it is. Um, 
And they're gonna do a little bit of damage to our team here. Yikes. Alright. You guys move into positions. Okay, good. Okay, we got one guy down. Good. Okay, so there we go. So see, all the stuff got her 12 action points. That's great. That's two shots per round on this one. I think I can even get her to go first um, if I want to. So let's see what she guys do. A 52. We got a 91 and a 92. So I can take out both of those guys, I think, in one round. Um, and then the rest of these are 52, except for this guy is a 92. Okay, so let's do this. Let's pop this guy with her. One down. Two down. 344 points. That's that critical. <laughs> that was redonkulous. Okay, cool. And then, uh, let's see, 49, 49, 49... 49 and damaged a little bit. And then 89 here. But he's not going to kill him, so I'm going to try and remove damage off the the um, off the field here. So if I go here, I'm going to get a little cover. And then I'm going to get to 89 on that guy, where right now I'm only at 49. So I'm going to move over here with Tamarol. And, uh, yeah, let's move over here, and then let's take that guy out. Okay. Now I got one action point left. I can use that to prepare and carry that over. Or I can defend. I'm actually going to use this to defend. And that's going to give me an extra 5% evasion uh, on the point for the one point. So that's going to be just a little bit more, but hopefully that will help me eva evade some damage there. Okay. Big beastie robot coming in. And BC Robot's gonna kill that guy over there. Yep. Couple of shots there. And go. Yeah, they're doing a good job of taking most of our guys out. Come on, you piece of. There's the problem. Hang right. in there, November. Almost got it. Hang in there, November. Yeah, November's getting worked. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Vator's got three more shots left, and you see I got no reload, so I got three. Right, so I got 52 on this guy, 52, 52, 92, but it's kind of a wasted shot on that person there. If I, oops, I don't want to move yet, I want to move around here. That's going to get 52, 52, that's going to get a 92 on that person over there. So that's okay, so why don't I do that? I'm gonna move up to here. I'm gonna still be in good cover. Front and the side. But then I can hit that one guy that's next to the robot for 92. So that'll take a little bit down. Yeah, let's do that. And then there's a shot here. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna conserve ammo a little bit. Um, and we're gonna have uh, that's going to give me 20% evasion for that. So that's good. Okay, so Tamarol's going to go over here. He's got 49. He's got 89, so I can take out this guy. I think these other two guys are going to get taken out by the big gun when it comes online next round. So let's see what happens. So let's take out this guy. Now you done pissed us off! All right. And then... Um, 89. I may have to get over... Yeah, so I don't have really much movement in here. I don't want to move up there because with that thing, it's got an AE. So I think what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to defend. So that's going to give me 10%. Yeah, they're going to basically take out the rest of our guys here. Unfortunately. I'll do that. Yeah. So that big gun is nasty. So there's that evasion helping me. November, you have okay. targeting control. So let's go over here. Let's start this guy up first. So there's that. Okay, so I'm going to have one guy over here that uh, this guy's not going to get hit by it. So, but we got to take this warbot out. This is warbot does massive damage. Oh, maybe it did. Ah, it did. It got all of them out. Good. Oh. Over here, you two. Apparently here. that got him. So that's good thing is here as I can serve. If you want to live through this, we gotta take out the bastards with the rocket launcher up on the dam. 
We'll each find our own way up there and catch him front and back. Got it? Got it. Good. And remember, Arizona's depending on us. There's no giving up here, there's no going back. All right, move out. All right, moving out. Okay, cool, so. <laughs> Look at them doodle bugs run. Come on, cousins. Don't let Got a bunch scatter. of loot here. Keep them together while I reload the Looking rocket for, gun. Uh, oh, man, I love this thing. Got the yellow snowball. We'll use this one a little bit later. It's actually kind of funny to use. Um, and no ammo. Okay, so that's too bad. Uh... So she's got two shots left in there, so we're going to have to really conserve those um, as we move up here. Five, six. Okay, not what we wanted. Our buddy got taken out there. So, yeah, a bunch of guys are getting beat to death. Okay. This guy's just launching a massive amount of rockets everywhere. Uh, do, do, do. Some slices right here. abdomen open. Okay. So, I don't think there's much in this area here. See How should I know? M maybe you blew her up already. Liar! I want her head! It's gonna be me who <sighs> bring it to Jarrett! Where is she? I don't know. I don't know! You're hiding her from me! You're denying me my glory! Get that fucking gun off of me! I don't know! <sighs> Stupid cow! You're wasting my time! All right, I just remembered that uh, I did not take a skill that I was hoping to take, but that's okay. Um, you really want to have, like, a hard-ass skill on your here. your friends are here. <clears throat> that's okay. Okay, Hotlanders. Drop your guns and she doesn't die. Got it? All right. Uh, we're just going to... Um, so, she's just going to tell us that we're stupid for uh, not knowing who they are. But yeah, if we had one of these things, we could have got, we could have saved her. But uh, since we don't have that, we're not gonna be able to save her. So we're just gonna kill her. Bastard! I told you I'd kill her. And we're taking her. Now the good thing about this is there's a potential. There was a potential ambush uh, by by letting her go, and so uh, it's one of those things where we don't have to do an ambush anymore. So that's good. Uh, do, 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 do. We get some of that. Um, Got the Blood. hostage taker's key. Blood for the deluge! <coughs> ah! Joey! No! <laughs> Don't worry, crybaby. You won't be grieving long. Murders! Sick fucks! Alright, so. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move. Kinda over here, real quick. Baytor is going to move. Let's see. Do, do, do. We need a good sniping spot for Baytor. Um, uh, here, let's move there, there. And he's going to go up here, I think. I think Baytor is going to go. I want her to go over here. 
Yeah, let's have her go over here. And then, let's see, we need to take out... Who's the... this guy right here. 95% on this guy. So we're gonna pop him hard, because he's a melee guy. This guy's, uh, I think he's a sniper, and then the rest of these guys are just assault. Actually, so let me see. Let, let's do one shot here, and then... I only got two rounds, so that's the unfortunate part. So I really gotta pick my shots here. I think I could... I might be able to do one shot from... from, uh... Let's see. Take a lower stance to gain proof hit chance, evasion, and detection time. You will automatically stand up if you've been moving. So, let's crouch down. And this guy, he's going to crouch down too. So now we got a good sniper spot here. Um, <clears throat> and I don't see where we can mark the target, unfortunately. But we're going to attack here. 34. Okay, well, next round we'll drop him. And so she's got six attack points left. So she's going to drop him. Okay, so there's that one down. Okay, he's got three. So, uh, do, 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 do. But he doesn't have enough attack points, so I'm going to actually... Let's see. Where he's at, I think that's going to give... Uh, it's really hard to see where the... I think there's... It's half... It's half... Uh, yeah, so this is half defense here. So, uh, I'm going to think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him stay... Let's see. Yeah, let's have him defend up. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. That's good, that's good. Okay. Now, uh, he's got seven attack points, so I can do 74 there. I got a 95 on this guy. Might take him out. And I got a 25 there. So what does she got here? She's out of ammo. Can I... Yeah, I don't have any ammo. I can't do anything there. So she's actually going to probably run back here in a second. Uh, but let's see. 22. So this guy's... Let's take out this guy. Or try to. And now I'm going to do something pretty interesting here. I'm going to... Uh, do, do, do. I'm going to defend. And she is going to... run around to here where she's got really good defense and then the next time I think I'm gonna run down so and do um, and she's going to defend so she's gonna get really high evasion so she's drawing fire away from him trying to cool all misses that's good that's good okay so now he is, uh, so she's going to, so he's got 25, so we're going to pop, let's take out, oh, one in your skull yep, for that. let's take out that, and then defend, so again, get that defense up, and then this guy is going to come over here, get on there, so that is going to be, the move there is going to have half defense there, but I can go and attack this guy melee. So yeah, let's do that. Go down and boom. And because she got so many action points, she can kill him with her fist. <laughs> and then she's still got lots that she can then defend back behind there. And now we're down to one person left. Okay. Cool. And he's going to... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I get an 89. I got 74 if I stay there, but I can't do anything anyway. So, oh, that's oh no no no. I only can go to here. Oh wait, if I go to there, I'm a 95%. So I'm gonna slide over one. Get that guy out. 
And then we're going to do this. We're going to run over here and beat her down. Hey, buddy. Your life's there we go. Cool. Done, done, done. <clears throat> I do like the fact that you can jump these guys back and forth. I took an outflow pipe through to the far side of the dam. Now it looks like I can get up behind those yahoos on the top and take them unawares. Let me know when you're in position and we'll... <gasps> Shit! Incoming fire! Taking cover! Alright. So I do like the fact that you can skip back and forth between their turns even though you haven't used up all their action points. I really like that ability to do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and loot these guys out and see where we're at. So we got an old tin can, uh, five, five, six ammo, some shotgun cells, and energy cells, some 38, and nose ring, and geez, still no 30 out six ammo. So this is the tough part about this thing. All right, let's talk Why to private. Why did you get here sooner? Look what they did to Joey. He, he's dead. All right, so sorry about your friend, but we have to save ourselves. Damn right. Gotta get poor <coughs> Joey back to AC. Uh, let's see. There's no way back across the lake. Our only hope is press forward. I don't care. I'm finding a way back. I can't let Joey be buried here. The ground's too cold. All right. Uh, okay. All right. We're leaving without you then. Good. We don't need you. Yeah. There's no way to get her to come with you. By the way, as far as I'm aware, I I've tried a bunch of different <laughs> different scenarios there, but it still didn't work. So, all right, so anything else around here? I don't think there is. Um, yeah, all right, so I think we're good. Um, there's an ammo box uh, here. Is there something else I saw? I need it. There needs to be like a little control or something. Alt, shift. Oh, there's a shift. Okay, cool. You can see the status of all the different things that are out here. So, good. Okay, so shift you can. Um, and that's, I think that's for targeting, but. Yeah, so that's targeting, unfortunately, so that's okay. But that's okay. It'll give us all this stuff so we can s at least see what's on the ground. Uh, med pack there. Okay, good. <coughs> and we've got guts over here. And we've got uh, a hostage taker's key. Hopefully there's some 30 out 6 in here. Please, please, please. Okay, nope, there's three frag grenades. That's cool. Uh, <coughs> so let's go ahead and go in here. Let's at least give her something to throw. So we'll do that. Yeah, I just need... Yeah, so this gun takes 30 out of 6, which does great, but man, you just... Sometimes you just can't get lucky on this stuff, so that's okay. All right. <coughs> this is lovely. Ah, it's special. Oh, another gut puppet to my name. You hearing right. this, Erastus? <laughs> you ought to be here. The deluge of blood has begun, and I'm winning. 762, 556, five, everything but what I need. Alright, shoot. Alright. So, this is my sneaky dude. We've got a warbot here, and I've got an active flight machine turret here. So, let's go over here. I don't have mechanics. Command. Okay, nerd stuff would allow it to do that, but here I can disable defenses, I think. And now the system admin authorized to restart. Cool. So now the light machine turret is down. And then we got some corpses here. Turn to Swiss cheese, so we need to avoid that. Okay. Um, I'm going to wait for this guy to patrol back over. want to avoid that if we can. Okay, so armor crate. So we pick up some scout armor. That's good. Let's go ahead and put that on our dude. Oop. So I've noticed she can't, she's not going to be able to wear the scout armor, so that's fine. Uh, all right. All right, so we got disarm, 
Okay, disarm explosive. Failure requires explosive level one. Uh, okay, so we need to maybe go around this side here then. Can't get into that box, but here, let's see if we can get into that that way. There we go, got around that. 762 and an army rifle, which requires number uh, level two automatic weapons. And a smoke grenade. Okay, so we'll loot all that. Generator. Let's turn that on, I guess. While we're doing that, she can move around here. So that's going to drop those down. Okay. Uh, you are in the lead. Okay, good, good, good. Rangers, Prasad here. Took care of the hostiles who jumped me, but... But those bastards are still up there on the dam. I found a spot to hunker down and give you some cover when you get there. But I'm afraid this this will be mostly on you. Good luck and hurry. All right, and we got a rabbit's paw and a signed up sheet. Okay, I'm gonna actually put the rabbit's paw on her. This is gonna give her a three percent crit chance. Uh, a little bit lucky, so. We'll see. Uh, I'm not healing myself right now because I'm trying to conserve. Because I only got, um, well, I got five of these typos, but it restores 50% of my constitution. So that's that's pretty good. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to that since I'm not terribly damaged right now. All right. So let's see. Up we go here. We're able to avoid most of that area. Yep. Okay. We got another ammo box here. Come on. 30 out of 6. Nope, 762 again. Like I said, this is the tough part about this, but I think I ha we have a path out of here. Another ammo box here. Come on, 30 out of 6. Hey, two rounds. I'll take it. I will take it. Um, it's that's two dead. That's <laughs> what I what I equate that to. That's two dead bad guys. Uh, with that. Okay, good. Oh, hey, three med hypos and a nitro spike. Good, and an injury kit. Good, 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 good. Okay. All right. Yep. We're going to open the door. And yeah, they're going to put us in some insanely bad positioning. I would never have run that far. But hey. Ah, damn it. Uh, looks like we killed them all. Guess the fun's over. Wait a minute. Maybe not. Howdy, Hotlander. <laughs> oh, as much fun as it is killing folk long distance. I like it best when the deluge of blood happens up close and personal. You know what I mean? <laughs> The rest is gonna be sorry he stayed home. He loves him some entrails. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this guy's crazy. All right. Uh, not gonna ask him about that. Who the hell are you people? What the fuck did you attack us? What's this daily issue? Well, you keep talking about. Uh, let's do this. Let's do the why the fuck did you attack us? Because it was ordained. The Darcy's are the harbingers of the deluge. The motherfucking end of the old world and the beginning of the new. This guy is crazy as crazy. And it all begins here, you little prayer dog. What I do to you, the Darcy's gonna do to all of Colorado. So squeal all you want. No one's coming to save you. Oopsie. His head seemed to have exploded. <laughs> Holy shit! They done killed Jared! Jared! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, never shot. Nice up. shot, Prasad. Heads up, Rangers. More incoming. Alright, good, 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 good. Alright, in we go. Now. Combat started. Okay, so Tim Merall. I'm gonna have him. Let's see, we got, let's see, what do we got here? We got a guy here. We got a guy here. We got a guy here. And we have another guy up here. So, um, that gives good cover there. So, my, again, Tamarol's going to be my front liner. So, I want him attracting most of the attention. He's going to get one shot off, and then he's going to defend. 
One shot, defend, one shot, defend. So, I'm gonna move him over here, give him some good defense, and then he's gonna get defense. So it's gonna be an extra 5%, one AP. Yeah, let's do that. Um, he's gonna defend right there, okay. Now, Vator's gonna run all the way to the back here. And use four, four, that's really strong defense there. And now, Bator's gonna try and take out the Stalker. And we're gonna do a really good job on hitting this guy. So, charge up this ability with each successful attack. Target a specific area of an enemy to inflict special effects. Okay, so let's do this. She's gonna try and one-shot this guy in the head. So this is going to do 40 to 56 damage, deals 25% bonus damage, plus 50% uh, chance deals 175% bonus damage. I can take him out one shot there. If I do this, uh, reduce the target hit chance by 25%, deals 50%, okay. If I take the body, it's just going to be 35% bonus damage, it reduces the target's armor by 75%. Legs, uh, inflicts bleeding on the target, reduces the target's combat speed by 0.8. Uh, I'm gonna go for the headshot. Okay, didn't didn't get the bonus on the headshot, but that's okay. We're gonna actually uh, also then have her defend. But this guy is really hurt now. I think he's gonna get. Okay, so he's okay. So Tamaral's gonna have to met up. Okay. Let's see here. So Tamaral's going to take three to do a med hypo. You gotta get. That's gonna get him up. And then uh, let's get 84. Not gonna be able to really get that guy. It's already down a little bit. 44. Can't hit that one. But I can hit this guy for a little bit. Hopefully she's got him taken out, and then here. Actually, before I make this move, I'm gonna see if can I throw this guy. How far can I throw this guy? I don't think. Can I throw that that far? Actually, I think I'm gonna run up here. Run up here. This is a great spot here. <clears throat> and then I'm going to throw one of these grenades right here. And I'm hoping to ignite off this fuel can. Hopefully that'll be secondary explosions on those guys as well. So let's see if that works. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, good. That set all that stuff up on fire as well, so that's kind of area is protected, I guess. Not that I think anyone's going to come down in there, but... Alright, so now she's going to defend. I'm holding off on the one bullet she's got left. She's got a magic bullet here. Now, I think uh, if I move around to this side, he's going to get better coverage. Because I am going to need that... Uh, I could move back there... And that's going to be better coverage on both those guys, too. With, well, it's going to be a better hit shot. Hit chance, at least. Um, yeah, so let's see there. I'm going to move over here, I think. 49. Okay, I don't have a shot on that guy there, but I do have a shot there. So maybe that's going to make that guy move his cover if he can't. If I can't hit him, I bet he can't hit me. Let's do this. Let's run over here. We've got plenty of ammo. Okay. Oh, that was the end of it anyways. Okay, good. That was actually a good move. Okay. Still got a shot on me. Yikes. Okay, so I'm gonna have to use another one of these. That's okay though, I got plenty of them. That's gonna put me up there. Target's blocked there, but I got 49% on that guy. Okay. I'm gonna try and do something here. 
How far? Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Right click there. Okay, so we're going to run her up to here. And we're going to lob a grenade over. Right to there. Whoop. All right. Now, can I run her back? Not enough. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, I don't want to move out of the area there. So I think she's going to be an okay spot there for right now. And then, let's see. Target block there. This one, I can take the shot on him. Didn't quite kill her. Okay. I need four for that. Okay, so then I think what we're she's gonna do, she's gonna be defensive. Do that. Draw fire, that's okay. She's very defensive, so is he. Look at that, we're good. We got another guy running up here, perfect. Okay, no, not perfect. Okay. Okay, she, Prasad took out him, took out him. All right, good, okay, so now. Let's see. There's a 91% chance if I go there. 63, 73, 84, 91, and he's not. Let's see. There's 91. If I go to there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ah, but I'm not going to be able to shoot. Okay. If I go here. 91% chance, and I am defended there. Yeah, so let's run her back here. And she's going to take a shot on this guy right here. Hopefully takes that guy mostly down. Okay. Seriously? Good drop. Punch him. Oh, I missed! Oh. Okay. Alright, well, uh, then I think we're gonna defend. Alright, so this guy's gonna come running around here. Try and get an uh, angle. Ouch, ouch. So, uh, let's see. I have no ammo here, so let's go up here. And I'm gonna run around to the back side of this guy and punch him in the head. That dropped him. And then she's gonna run over here, put a weapon back on, and yeah, go for defense. All right. Do I have an angle? 29%. Let's see, can I go to here? That's a 9%, that's 5%, that's 49%, that's 15%. Whew! Alright. It's 29%, 29%, and from here it's 29%. Where's uh, do, 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 really? Nothing? If I go over to here, but he's got, I got no defense if I do that. And it's going to take me three. Okay. We got plenty of ammo. Pick him out there, and then uh, I'm going to quick slot that. Get him topped off again. This guy's going to probably try and move. Okay, good. He's in a really bad position now. That's good. That's good. Now he's going to 89% on this guy. And can I... I can't use that. Okay. He's got, what, 15 left? Can't do anything there, so let's switch over to her. And she's going to come up and beat this guy into submission, I think. Yeah, she's just going to run right up in front of him. Pop. Pop. There we go. Good! All right, good, 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 good. 
See? That worked out great. And we leveled up. Alright, let's grab our loot. Should have a bunch of it. Uh, there. And book. Junk. Ring. Ah, there we go. We got a mangler. And a rocket. Unfortunately, we need to have explosives. So hopefully we get a character that has explosives. Get some human teeth. And more junk. Okay, good. Alright, so now let's see. Let's look around here really quick. Uh, there's a med box up there. Anything else around here? There's an oil tank. There's a medical crate. Grenade box up there. Okay, cool. Um... Uh, wait, where's the grenade box? Is that all the way down here? Oh, no, no, I got I got that one. Okay, ammo box here. And we got more 30 out 6. Good. We have 45, another rocket, and some spikes. Good, good, good. So let's... Let's get a couple more rounds in there. Alright, so medical craze done. Um, okay, here's Major Vera Prasad. Okay, first aid is clear she's in shock. It's incredible she's still conscious. Nice work finishing off that jerk's crew. Did you find any other survivors? Okay, uh... Nope, just us. Damn it. <coughs> Damn. I'm bleeding all over the paperwork. Uh, we need to, to head for Colorado Springs. Establish a headquarters at Peterson Air Force Base. Support the Patriarch, no matter all what. Right. We do that. And the Patriarch sends aid to the Arizona Rangers. We don't. And the Rangers are fucked. That brings me to the secret orders. All right, secret orders. Uh, okay. Uh, only me. Uh, got them from got them from General Woodson. Okay. When we first heard from the patriarch, General Woodson sent an sent an advanced team to Colorado, led by Angela Death. But they went right. dark. We have to find them. So Angela Death is somebody who is in was in Wasteland 2. She was a main character. You could have a part of your part of your party for a while. She left your, leaves your party at the point. Um, and so yeah. Uh, so she's a really cool character. Really good one. Uh, we thought Angela Death was killed in a mission to California. Spoiler alert. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, uh, that was kind of what happened to her. Um, no. There. She found her way home, then found out all her squad mates had died fighting. Oh, jeez. Probably okay. why she volunteered for the advanced team mission. Got her away from her ghost. Give me a cool. second. Catch my breath, and we can go. Okay. Um, all right. So, just how bad do you think it would our major? Help her up. Uh, first aid, euthanizer. This will help. You. This will help. You may feel a little drowsy. Um... We'll go ahead and help her up this time. Uh, she, I, I don't think she ended up living. Her shaky sounds with agonized, agonized grimace. You look down, her intestines have slumped out of her, tumbling into the snow. <gasps> All right. Well, I could have euthanized her. Um, I, I think you do get a good accomplishment for doing that. But yeah, anyways, no worries. All right, so she's dead. And we're gonna loot her body. Um, okay, good. So we got some 762, we got another army rifle, scout pants, expert pipes, and scout armor. Okay, so we're gonna loot all those. So, so as you can see here, um, can't, can't equip the armor. So that's kinda sucks for her, but uh, it is what it is. But we can put the scout pants on him. So now he's getting armored up. Also, uh, we've got skills to go up. So. Uh, he's going to go to Automatic Weapons 2, because that will allow him to use the Army army Rifle. Uh, we're also going to... Oh, wait. Uh, that's right. The neat thing is, is that all your learn skills are put at the very top, so that's cool. So we're good there. Um, let's bump up Sneaky Shit by 1 and Lock Picking by 1. So that's going to make sure... I want to stay ahead of the curve on Lock Picking because uh, that is going to help make sure that we're continuing to get loot out of stuff. So that's good. So automatic weapons, lock picking, and sneaky shit. Good. Uh, attributes. Um, nah, we're going to confirm that. Yeah, we don't get any new attributes or perks or anything like that. So cool. So we'll go there. And now uh, for Beitor. 
we're going to put some skills on her. So she is going to pick up automatic weapons 2. We're going to be flipping back and forth on her between automatic weapons and sniper rifles. Um, it's really not ideal. You should specialize really to help max out your sniper rifles because there's only so much of these you're going to get. Uh, but she needs at least to get to have something as a backup for when she runs out of ammo on her sniper rifle. So we're going to give her automatic weapons 2. And that will get her to the point where um, she's... Uh, da -da 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 -da, um, where she can at least use something, right? Uh, and, and she'll be able to lose, use one of these army rifles. The better weapons, she's going to need to have higher automatic weapons. But I'm hoping we'll have more ammo and more... Uh, better sniper rifles and that's where she'll specialize in. She'll have weak weapons for backup. Now the other thing I wanted to pick up, um, I'm not going to pick up this armor modding and first aid and weapon modding yet. What I want her to pick up is social skills. We're going to go with a hard ass and that's going to give us at least the ability to do some of those hard ass um, things. I should have picked this up on her on the, on the build but, uh, but that's okay. We only missed out one little thing, and it really didn't have that big of a... I don't think it's going to have that big of an impact. Uh, we'll see what happens. But um, So, now now that we have that, uh, what I can do is I can grab one of these army rifles and slot it in here. And then she'll be able to do that. And I'm going to grab this other army rifle, and he's going to slot it in there. And then so now the rusty bucket we don't need. Um, we have army rifles, which is better damage. And uh, we can go ahead and field strip this guy. Uh, actually, I'm going to pop over to her. I don't think it matters, but we're going to... Because she's going to uh, do that. And then that's going to give us some more scrap. So, uh, so there's a chance for you to recover off uh, like scopes and, and different things like that so you can modify the weapons. So, But that's okay for now. Uh, Alright. And I think the rest of this stuff we're good. We don't have anyone who can use the explosives yet. Uh, we could probably field strip this guy, but we actually may want to use it to take out, try and take out a vehicle or something. So, okay, so we're good there. We got a couple rockets, and we have lots of 7.62, which these guys take 7.62 on the army rifles, so that's good. Um, and yeah, so we have lots of that, and then we have some of the other stuff. So good. All right. Um, that being said, let's go down here and oops, let's actually get all of us here. And we're going to open up this weapon crate. And that's going to get another rocket. Uh, we've got Major Tomcat here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Dog tag, come on, we'll catch you. We don't have Animal Whisper. And, and this is back down. Alright, so. If we had the hard ass, we could have gotten a pack of cigarettes from, and I know this from my other playthrough, uh, we could have gotten the pack of cigarettes from the one lady who got shot early on, <laughs> uh, that we, we didn't have the hard ass uh, uh, social for, and that would allow us to get Major Tomcat as a companion. But, um, but it's okay. Uh, I'm sure we'll have other opportunities to get other companions, and so that is it for now. So I think we're going to run in here, because we need to get, uh, let's pull out this stuff. And that's going to give us a rhino and liquid time, so a couple of drugs we can get that will boost us up if we need to. And we have a medical crate over here as well. And that's going to give us another med pack, and we are good to go. And I think that is going to complete it for today. Um, so, we have officially gotten to the spot to where I have gone in this game so far. And uh, everything after this is going to be brand new. Uh, if you like this episode, please leave a like down below, subscribe. I'm turning this, this is going to be a daily episodes that are going to be coming out all the time so as we move through this as we record through this uh you'll get those updates every day so hit the subscribe hit the little bell button icon and you'll see the notifications when these get posted so in until tomorrow everyone i will see you later have a great one goodbye The coming of the Lord He's tramping out the vintage With the grapes are at the store He's loosed the faithful lightning Of his terrible swift sword His truth is marching on